Here's the front of the UP Greyhound Challenger number 3976. So I'm gonna do a silent detail overview. And then we'll go to a running session. here swings when they articulate as you can see the spring in the back here we rotate too speaker I know I said it was going to be silent but if I want to explain something then I'll find it uh, up in there right near the sand of this first sand dome right under there would be the speaker in the engine and the hole where the smoke will be coming from is up in there up in there. Legacy controls located under the second set near the cab. Well, you know, got the dynamo effect. Uh, cab roof. Now, it should all be known that there's a little plug that goes from the engine to the tender and you plug that in that gives the rail sounds board and the tender go to the front speaker of the engine and your walkway and located under the walkway will be the vision registration number there's one engine there's one speaker in the engine and two speakers in the tender the oil chambers Instead of a coal load, the Greyhounds were converted to oil burners. Water hatches, of course. Finally, the line out changed it up and hid the volume control under the cat under this uh, hatch to do the volume control instead of the little screwdriver. Held shut by magnet, of course. Load the smoke fluid. 
you do is take the dynamo piece off, take your funnel that's supplied, and then you load it in there. That's it. Add 15 to 20, add 20 to 30 drops when priming the smoke unit, and then 15, and then 10 to 15 after that. Basically means after you prime it, you don't you don't need to add no more than 20 drops or 15 after you get it home. Only add 20 to, I only add 20 drops in the main stack. My main stack is giving me air blockage problems. Then the smoke that you put in here also requires the smoke that you put the, wh the whistle. So you only need to add 20 to 15 to 20 drops into the main smoke stack after that. After you prime it with 30 to 40.